गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोपति चैनल सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू यूज ओपन शिफ्ट कैटलॉग टेम्पलेट टू डिप्लॉय एप्लीकेशन सो टू क्रिएट एनी एप्लीकेशन इन ओपन शिफ्ट वी हैव टू क्रिएट सो मेनी ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड थिंग्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एनी पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर्विस राउट्स इमेज स्ट्रीम दैन डिप्लॉयमेंट कॉन्फ्लिक ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी हैव टू मैनेज बाय अवर एंड सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग दैट वाई नॉट वी यूज Uh, open shift catalog template we just have to maintain one template and in future suppose if number of application comes up in that case we just have to change the parameters that's it and by using that catalog template we can create applications just within seconds hope you will like this video if so just hit like button and comment your doubts i will definitely try to answer them and on this channel i have created few videos related to open shift and then docker you can check out those videos as well okay so let's see how to create an application by using open shift catalog template so here i have created this template so this is my github repository here you can see corcus template is available so this particular template is for java corcus application you just have to change the name that's it just change this corcus template name and here so uh, many places i have a uh, java corcus thing so you can replace them with your own application so suppose in case you have spring application you have uh, angular node js application you just have to replace these names okay that's it so before going ahead and testing this particular template on open shift uh, let me explain what are the things i have in this particular template so here you can see a uh, template openshift.io that means this uh, template will work under openshift only because in kubernetes we don't have a catalog template option so that's why then we have kind template in this kind template we just have to specify the description and all other things like tags icon class class you can specify like the, suppose if you want corcus icon for your application then you can specify uh, icon corcus if it is um angular application then you have to pass icon angular all these things are available you can find out the list on google so you just have to pass this required labels over here after that this is the main thing objects we have for this template in objects the first thing that we have kind as image stream in image stream the main thing that you have to take care of is docker image that you are going to pass for example here you can see from kind docker i am using docker image and here i am specifying the docker image that i uh, like i want to uh, by using that this image i want to create application so suppose if i search for this variable in this template here you can see i am passing this java corcus image so this is the query repository where i have my java corcus image so you just have to replace this image name so for example you have image in gitlab registry then you have to pass gitlab.com and entire fully qualified name of your docker image okay so let's go up where we started ha huh. so the next thing that we have is deployment config in deployment config here you can see i have added some labels so labels are nothing but just to add icons and then it will create one circle outside your deployment config like outside your pod it will add one circle so you can easily uh, delete entire application so that it will delete all the resources that are associated with that particular application so you just have to change you can put anything like that you want for example java corcus you can uh, specify spring yeah uh, or angular all these things that you can easily pass over here just you or simply use this same configuration if you want to deploy application for java corcus okay after that um one more important thing that we have environment variables from here you can pass environment variables for your application so for example here i am passing username and password so these are the two environment variables that i have and i have created secrets for this so that's why secret ki reference is there so that means secret with username is available in this template okay and after that here you can see i am also specifying service account name that means this particular application will get deployed inside default service account so suppose if you have your own service account then you can change that service account name over here so let's go down here you can see uh, i am using readiness probe that means after that particular time okay uh, suppose your application is taking 15 minutes to get deploy so uh, 15 seconds sorry so after 15 seconds that application will become dark blue otherwise it will be light blue only so while deploying the application i will show you this concept so that's why readiness probe is required so after 15 seconds it will become dark blue so that means your application will be accessible before that suppose after any 
immediately after deploying the application you try to access the endpoint it will not be accessible okay here one more thing that i'm using curl i'm just doing curl and checking that application is up or not so i'm doing curl to the localhost 8080 and i'm passing username and password like it will prompt like my application is prompting for username and password so that's why i am passing username and password so this is how you can use this curl after that here i am just adding one trigger just to check uh, the image like whether a base image is changed or not if it is changed then it will automatically recreate the application okay after that i have service over here service is important for uh, open shift application like then only pods can communicate with each other so service is required and here you have to pass port like on which port you you are going to create service so there here you have to specify target port like 8080 and this port is nothing but container port for example here also i am specifying somewhere container port in my deployment config here you can see ports as container port so this is container port means inside of the docker container on which um, port your service is running so my java corpus is running on 8080 so that's why container port is 8080 then my this is also my container port and this is the target port like service is running on 8080 okay after that i have route so route is basically used to access the application like it will create endpoint and here i also i am specifying target port is 8080 because on 8080 it will be available i am creating one tls that will it will add https in front of the uh, like endpoint so it is it will be secure then i have secret over here so i am creating only one common secret for both username and password so here i have keys username and password and i am passing this same secret from environment variable so suppose if i copy this username and search for this here you can see in environment variables that i showed you earlier i am passing this environment variables uh, this two variables username and password as environment variable okay so these are the secrets that i have created so suppose in your case you you have secrets then easily you can refer this section and finally i have parameters over here so for example i am passing application name then username password and docker image name so this is the docker image name that i am passing so in your case you have multiple parameters then you just have to add one entry just add one entry below this here you just have to pass description display name then name of that particular variable like whether it is required or not and the value values are optional like required and values these things are optional uh, for example here i am not passing any value for username and password okay one more thing masking is not available in uh, openshift catalog templates so password will be visible when you are uh, like passing like when you try to deploy the application by using catalog and you type password it will be visible like star masking password masking is not available okay so let's see how to deploy an application by using this template that i have created for this specific video i am going to use openshift katagoda to uh, show you how to create catalog templates and deploy application so basically this katagoda openshift platform uh, pro allows us to create uh, use this particular platform for 16 minutes okay so 16 minutes session that we can have just we have to click on this start scenario and then on this icon and here you can see everything is available for us so you just have to pass username and password for example here i have to pass admin admin so that i will have cluster admin rights over here and then click on login otherwise you can use developer developer credentials will be available here you can see admin admin and developer developer okay let's go back okay quick let's quickly create one project for us for this demo click on this then create project and here i am creating demo demo project okay let's create or click on this create button demo is available let's switch to demo project uh for that i have to use oc project and demo so it will take us inside the demo project so here you can see now using project demo okay so this is basically terminal that uh, we have for this session and then uh, where we can see the template so we are going to create a template here under from catalog like if i click on from catalog and then suppose if i search for let's untick this and if i search for corcus here you can see our uh, like my template is not there for now 
let's create my template and deploy application by using that template okay so you just have to hit this like this url will be available in the description go there and click on draw and just copy this template okay guys so let's copy this thing and go back to the terminal here you just have to create one vi file and type any any name that you want for example vi my demo dot yaml okay yaml file that you have to create and just copy paste that content and save this file after that you just have to fire one command that command will be available over here like oc uh, apply hyphen f command so this is the command oc apply hyphen f and then file name so in our example i'm using which file name if i do ls here you can see i have my demo okay so i just have to paste that command over here and my demo my demo okay and hit enter button so it will create template so it is saying template is created let's go back to the open shift earlier we had only three corcus uh, templates which are which are basically by default open shift create for us let's refresh this page it will create it will show the template that i just now i have created uh, for us so after refreshing yeah here you can see java corcus template is available now so you just have to click on this template and then instantiate template and you will see all the environment variables like parameters that i was passing are available over here correct here you can see application name is java corcus because value was already there then image name was also already there so that's why it is showing image name and then i have to pass uh, username and password so for example i will pass admin and admin okay and let's click on create so it will create entire application for us so here you can see and you know uh, i was talking about the labels like uh, circle rounded circle that it will create uh, the things that i i have added under deployment config as a label so this label basically it will create this circle so this pod is nothing but this thing is nothing but deployment config for example if you, you try to delete this it will uh, say delete deployment config and suppose if you want to delete all the things that are created by the template like route services then you can just click on this circle outside circle and you can click actions and delete entire application so it will delete all the things which are created by the template so for example right now it is light blue and it is now dark blue that means after 15 seconds it will become dark blue so if you go inside the logs and then yeah here you can see now application is up and it is running okay so route is also there so this template will create everything that whatever that is mentioned so the route is also there if i hit click on this routes it is http because kata code allows us to create http only so that's why suppose if you try to create this thing uh, in your own cluster in that case it will automatically create uh, http as like it will add ssl certificate so here you can see application is up and running like this uh, corcus application so this is how you can use this template to create applications okay so it is very easy let me show you all the things that are created we just have to switch to the administrator and here under networking we will see routes under routes here you can see java corcus route is created under service we will have one service okay so here you can see java corcus service is also available because i was passing all the parameters as application name only so that's why uh, all the objects have same name like java, java corcus okay then uh, one more thing like in builds here we will we can see image stream that is created and there must be deployment config as well under workloads here you can see deployment config is also created let me show you secrets also in workloads here we have secrets and there must be two one secret for crates let's sort this yeah this one java corcus crates and if i go down reveal values here you can see admin and admin these are the secrets that are created so suppose if you want to delete this application now you don't have to delete all these objects one by one you just what you have to do just click on this application actions delete application and just pass this application name that is java corcus copy paste and delete so it will delete all the things like application is gone if i go back to administrator and workloads 
and where is the deployment config see deployment config is gone let's check the other things for example networking routes see route is also not there so it will delete all the things that are created by the template okay guys so this is how you can easily use this uh, openshift catalog template to create applications into openshift so you just have to change the you can uh, refer this particular template just for the reference purpose and you can customize it by adding all the things that you want from your end okay so thanks for watching this video so one more thing if suppose your docker image is in private uh, registry in that case you have to create secret so you can check out this video how to deploy first application here i have showed you how to create secrets uh, for the uh, image to pull the image which is in private uh, registry uh, like image registry okay so that's it in this video if you like this video please hit like button and also subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section so let's see you in the next video bye bye